So we all know AI is capable of creating photos, right? I mean, I'm sure you've seen plenty of AI created photos all over your friends' social media profiles over the past few months. But what you might not know is that you can take any one of those photos, animate it, clone the voice of whoever's photo it is, and then dub it over that animation to make them say anything you want it to. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna start by cloning your voice, okay? So you're gonna go to beta.11labs.io. There's a bunch of different apps out there that'll allow you to clone a voice. This one I've found by far to be one of the most efficient and best quality ones I've seen. So now that you're on here, there's a bunch of pre-made voices right on here that you can take a look at and you can test any of these out by clicking this give me an idea. The greatest achievement of humanity is not its works of art, science, or technology, but the recognition of its own dysfunction. Okay, well that was kind of disturbing, but anyway, so what you want to do is go to get started free, okay? And from here, create an account. Now that you've created your account, make sure you signed up for one of the tiers that includes Voice Lab. Voice Lab is what's going to give you the ability to clone voices, okay? So once you do that, go to Voice Lab up top, and then you're going to click on Add Voice. Now from here, you're going to click on Instant Voice Cloning, and what you're going to do is you're going to upload a voice clip of you speaking that's five minutes long or so. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's formatted to be an MP3. That way that file size will actually fit, unlike, say, a WAV file that's actually going to be too big to fit on this server. And once you've done that, it's going to basically use its AI generated technology to clone your voice. And by the time it's finished, you're going to have right here under your voices, your voice actually cloned right here. And you can just click on use. Now, once you're here, you can type in any text you wanted to hit generate and it'll generate a clip for you of that exact text being spoken in your cloned voice. Now, keep in mind, you only have a certain limited amount of characters that you can type in that you can see right here at the bottom. So just keep that in mind when you're figuring out exactly what to type in. And once it's generated that audio file for you, just download it and hold on to it on your computer. So now you've got the recording of your clone voice. You've already created your avatar. So here comes the fun part. You're gonna go to d-id.com. And from here, you're gonna click on try it now. And then from here, you're gonna click on start free trial. And once you're in here, you're gonna click on create video. Now from here, you can see all the different presenters that it already has built in, but you want your own, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to click on add and from here you're going to create an account so once you're done creating your account you're going to come back to this page and you're going to upload your avatar by clicking on add under choose a presenter now once you have your avatar uploaded like i do right here on the right hand side you have two separate options first one is script where you can type in whatever script you want and it's going to create its own voice you don't want that though right so you're going to click over to audio and you're going to click on upload your own voice and from there you're going to upload that audio file of your cloned voice that you recorded before. Then once it's done uploading, just click on generate video up here on the top right. This right here is my AI avatar using a cloned version of my voice. If you wanna make this for yourself, just check out the links in the description below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on all the insane ways to utilize AI. So that's it guys. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below and I'll see you on the next one.